Hello YouTube and welcome to Inside Electronics and in today's episode let's take a look at a broken USB power monitor. Now I mentioned this as a broken device because I believe you can see that this thing has a crack right on the screen itself. So this is a USB power monitor that I ordered from Banggood a month ago and I got it delivered last day and when I opened the package I saw this a crack. So which makes this thing pretty much useless Oops. and so let's take a look at what's inside. Now I believe that this crack has happened in the factory itself because if something that uh, happened to, the, to it, it caused the screen to crack like that should have been easily shattered this top uh, plastic thing but it didn't do that so I believe that has happened in something else. Now speaking of these things, this is, this is the QIC branded USB power monitors and before the entry of these things if you search on YouTube as I mean uh, sorry eBay for power monitors USB power monitors this is the thing that you will find now these are better known as charger doctors now these are really simple USB power monitors because this has a USB input and a USB output so if you connect something to it let me show you let me demonstrate if you find I don't think the demonstration is necessary because if you are electronics man you will already know it will show you the voltage and it will show you the current ones after that so if I plug in an USB load it is going to show us the amount of current that is being passed right now it's to this USB light so which is simple as it does so what makes this QIC uh, power monitor special is that you know because this thing can only show you voltage and current and that too in two different instances you cannot see both the voltage and current at the same time this is pretty much limited you are not getting any extra options or something you ha really have to leave with what you have but before the arrival of these kind of advanced power units power monitors these were enough for just you know DIY stuffs and things like that now these can handle 3.5 to 7 volts and up to 3 amps now I haven't yet tested this to 3 amps but I have tested to 2 amps and it was working fine so now speaking about this one back now these are much better because uh, these are supposed to show the voltage the current the total time the power uh, is being delivered has been delivered and the amount of energy which has been transferred from the side to this side all in once you will get all the information in this single screen itself so that is the reason why I purchased this thing and but apparently I got it broken so I applied for a refund and this thing has a reset button but from the physical side I have already taken these four slots which is what it used to keep this thing closed apart just to make you know things easier so the physical size is you know something uh, much similar to a size of a USB flash drive and it has a reset button here now the reset button is used because uh, this thing has a built-in memory so it actually stores the time and the energy being transferred into its, its own memory so that it won't be re won't get deleted once you plug this out of the power source it has a built-in memory so when you have to reset it you have to press this button that's it so if I plug this in you can uh, see the crack really in a better way okay let me take that out that's it that's a crack right there so this was supposed to be the voltage this was supposed to be the current and the time and the power is surprise broken anyways so uh, yeah that's it this is the outer casing that uses it's a nice little case here so I bought this thing for around 300 rupees 300 to 350 rupees I believe and by the arrival of these advanced power monitors the price of these things have really came down now I bought this thing uh, this one uh, you know a few years ago for 300 something rupees now this has come down to around 100 150 rupees because of these new end models now speaking of this there's nothing much more in it there's an input there's an output there's an LCD screen and a reset switch on top with the backlit 
two LEDs, two white LEDs. And now let me turn on the light. And this is what makes it run. It has one, two, three main ICs and a few supporting components to make this whole thing run. And this thing right here is the current resistor, this is a series resistance. And the how this thing works is it the microcontroller measures the voltage drop across this series resistance and the drop will be proportional to the amount of current flowing through this thing. Now the data pins of this thing is actually uh, connected straight through, it's a direct short circuit. You can uh, check the uh, continuity and it is straight through, nothing is in between. Now the power line is, the, the resistor is put in series with the power line so it can measure the uh, voltage drop. Now the Holtec HT1621B, this chip right here is the LCD controller. I've been through all the data sheet, uh, all data sheet for all these ICs and this thing has, this is an all-in-one LCD driver. Now this thing has everything that is needed to drive a 32 by 4 LCD. This is not designed to run this particular, no, this is not designed only to run this particular LCD but it can run any 32 by 4 LCD screens. That is a good thing because it has everything built in. And this is made by a company called Holtec, I believe that is. And the other thing, this here, this is the ST8S003F. This is an 8 bit microcontroller that has built in memory and built in clock and everything. You know, there is only a few supporting components for the built in crystal oscillator. And this thing right here is a 3.3 .3 volt. 30 milliamp power, 30 milliamps converter, which is also made by the same company called Tech. So the whole job of calculating everything is done by this IC, which I think is pretty simple because if you know the power triangle, that is V uh, P is equal to V I, I is equal to V by R, that kind of equations. All you need to do is program a microcontroller to do all those calculations for you based on the value that you get from this obviously it needs an ADC which it does have and that's how this thing works and that's what's inside a broken crazy USB charge monitor now because I got this thing broken I have ordered I have I did two things first thing I did is to uh, raise a refund request which they are now processing and the second thing I did is I ordered an even a higher version of this thing which I will do a full review once I get that in my hand so I hope and this thing is version 3.1 so they have made a previous versions also so I think that's it that's pretty much it about the crazy USB power monitor thanks for watching and See you in another video.